Hey guys, Broke Black Man here, and I received an alert on my phone saying that I should pay my Verizon bill, but realizing I don't even have money in my account, I'm just going to go react to Legends of Tomorrow Season 2 Episode 3 Shogun, because I'm just surprised that I even made it this far in Legends of Tomorrow. Like, when it first came out in Season 1, I really didn't like it, but my friends were telling me that it's going to like coincide with the Arrow, Flash, and now Supergirl Universe. So I was like, you know, I'll give it a chance. And I like binge watched it, Season 1 on Netflix, and I was actually surprised. It was actually good. Like, I was surprised what they did with the character of Captain Cold, like making him a hero or anti-hero. You can debate on that. And now with season two, I see that not only they brought back Damien Dark, but now the reverse Flash, and they seem to be working together. I don't know if this is going to be like the Legion of Doom they're going to be doing. I'm not good with the news with Legends of Tomorrow, because I just got into it. So, let's see how this episode is going to coincide. And react. Yes, it would be a tad inconvenient to have a monster roaming the ship. <laughs> hey, and a monster, but worse. Oh, she's taking out everyone. Gosh, what happened? ASA versus Nazis when my dolls well, they were action figures really. Well it doesn't matter, because I got superpowers now, why not it's wholesome? Your powers manifest. I would act the same way. Adrenal response. Basically a Maya threatened you and you reacted. So now what we need to do is duplicate the conditions which caused you to, you know, steal on. Wait, so you wanna threaten me? Not exactly. Wait, let's discuss this. Is that really smart? Like, the way. My name is Masako. Masako. That's a pretty name. Don't get any ideas, boy. We're not even from this time period. Men like you, men who take and prey on the weak. Listen, girlie, I'm risking my neck for two morons who fell out of the ship. Why? Because they'd do the same for me. Why are you on the ship? Because I'm a member of the Justice Society of America. It's my job to protect everyone. Except for me, you snuck up behind me and sliced my throat like a ninja. There's no such thing as ninjas, you idiot. Tell that to Chuck Norris. Who's that? And I'm the idiot. <laughs> By the way, I'm not your girlie. All right, if you two don't quit, your I can see them hooking up by the end of this season. Of my choosing. Together. That's if she decides to stay with them. Well, you out. How can I help you? We found the Gaijin in the forest. The Shogun wants to make sure there are not any other foreigners around to bother you. <gasps> that is very kind of him. But you are the only visitor we've had today. Good. The last thing the Shogun wants before his wedding is surprises. Too late! <gasps> dumb, dumb, Nathan. What are you doing? Relax. I got this. Who are you? I'm the guy telling you that your Shogun's wedding has been cancelled on account that he's an asshat. <laughs> but seriously, aren't you boys mosey on I bet his powers are not even going to work. Tell him the news. Or what? Or it's going to get ugly. I am wearing a Sunwood armor. You are not. I wear my armor on the inside. Nate, stop insulting him, I beg of you. Relax, I got this. They caught me off guard. They caught me off guard. They caught me off guard. Come at me now. <laughs> 
signals and raise Adam's suit is getting stronger. Doesn't exactly look inviting, does it? It's like Ninja 3, the domination. Yo, why does Heatwave look like Zoro? Oh, no, didn't want anyone getting in. Well, maybe he was trying to keep something from getting out. If I've learned one thing from Lost, is you don't go open his secret hatches. <laughs> we can get it later. Yo, he has to do something with that suit to make sure it just works on him. Or he can just turn it off with a voice. Would you? destroy the suit? Yeah, Nate. We can't beat the Shogun while he's wearing the suit. The so suit the and suit. powers don't make you a hero. Your powers are within you. After today, I'll have nothing left. You just said your powers are within you. Take your own advice, boy. Heat you are, wave Zoro. Let's go, let's go. He did. He did. I told you he did. Bodies made it still on his show with me, ass. That's what they always say. Great. I'm going to for takeoff. Hmm? But what did Barry say? So I'm going to say something about future matters, Mr. Shana. Barry was very clear about the team not knowing what he told Captain Hunter. He said, now we know. Oh, well, they're going to snitch. <laughs> Someone's going to snitch. Alright, so apparently there's a lot of points I got to discuss about this good episode. For starters. Steel, like, uh, it doesn't have no ring to it, though. I hope that the character of Nathan actually fixes that name. But until then, like, Steel, eh, I don't know if that's the actual character name in the comics. I'm not familiar with that character. If anyone knows, please leave that in the comments below. But Steel, eh, I like the powers of him 
like cloaking his body into steel though but hopefully in future episodes he will actually like harness ability and know how to control it if not he's gonna end up dying it's like the second time that he's like seriously about to die because of his condition but like you know what they say third time's a charm so who knows maybe if this happens again he might end up being dead forever the second point i like to make is that jefferson stein like for starters i love that lost reference but like they found a secret room that ripped it and what the to find so and we actually know why at first I was like why didn't he want them to know about weapons it's nothing harmful and then you see that there is a message from Barry 40 years in the future like we don't even know what that message is it probably has something to do with the reverse flash but he doesn't want the team to know another thing like I have a feeling that one of these ep future episodes of either The Flash or Legend of Tomorrow is going to be the team actually trying to stop Barry from manipulating the timeline because as you can see if if you don't even watch The Flash like already Barry's just keep messing up with the timeline as it is eventually he's gonna get stuck. and it looks like Vixen is now a part of the team like she's known with the JSA but will they drop her back or will she join it looks like she just may join i rate this episode an a minus it was actually a good episode going to feudal japan and i'm mad that they actually like dress heat wave up so similar to the anime slash manga character of Roran or zolo like from one piece like was i the only one for those watch or read the manga like of One Piece like was it just me who just saw Heat Wave look like Rowan Ozor but again I rate this an A minus please leave comments below on what you think of the episode and please if you're new subscribe 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 this is the broke black man 94 signing off